Hi, Tom Bridger here. Today I'm going to talk to you about pitching on how we, we play the pitch shot and then also how we're going to control the distance of our, of our pitching. So previously pitching has been taught by having the ball position way back in the stance, getting the hands very forwards and, and hitting down onto the ball, trying to hit, hit right into the, the back of the ball there. That's actually been shown to, to be quite a hard way to play the shot very inconsistent when you're when we're hitting down on the ball a bit too much we we take out all of the bounce of the the club on the on the sole here i'll get into that in a, in a bit more detail in a moment also it, it gets sends the ball out very low very quick um, so it's hard to get the ball to stop there, there's not too much spin on the ball with the the invent of the the launch monitors and, and the slow motion cameras it's actually been found that to get more spin on the ball and to get more control on, on a pitching shot, we need to play play the ball, play the shot, with the club almost vertical. What that allows us to do, and, and what you'll see, is that the, the back edge of the club here sits then a lot lower than the front edge. That's the, the bounce on the, on the club here. Now that's our, our bit of get out of jail free, if you like. If we play the shot and actually we get the back edge, the the sole of the club here striking the ground just first, it skids like a stone on water. We'll actually skid the club through, we'll stay nice and low and, and actually play the shot, we'll hit the ball with, with a lot more loft on the club, helping launch the ball up and, and giving a bit more spin will actually help to get the ball to stop a bit quicker. So the, the way we're going to play a pitching shot is to have the ball positioned slightly forwards in the stance and to have the hands very central. Okay. That's going to allow me to, to, when I play the shot, and I'm not going to use too much wrist on the shot here again, because if I play too much wrist, again, I'm adding steepness. I'm looking to keep the wrists, wrists uh, in, sort of, in feeling like they're in the same position as they're here at the start. So that the shot is actually being played by turning my body. What you can do to, to help aid that as well is just to feel that you're just pinching your triceps in a little bit. That's just going to help lock your upper body in, feel like it's going to lock into position. And therefore I'm going to just use my hips to turn and to play the shot. That way I'm getting the club skidding through the floor. I'm not hitting the floor too hard, but I'm keeping the loft, keeping the angle on the club here. So that will be very much the, the technique that we're looking to, to play this shot with. Just clipping it off the top of the grass, not hitting down too hard, but still launching the ball up in the air nicely. I'm going to get a much more consistent shot playing, the, playing a pitching shot that way. So again, just recapping, having the ball position forwards, hands very central, pinching the triceps in and just using my body, using my hips to turn and to play the shot so that I just skim the club through the grass or off the, off the top of the surface. To then control the, the distance the shot goes, there's, there's, a, there's three ways that we can look to do this. Firstly, we can change the club. Just like a full swing, changing the club is gonna make the ball go different distances. I can change my length of swing so I could reference that as like a, a third of a swing, two third swing, and then, then we've got our full swings. It could be quarters, halves, three quarters. You might like the idea of a clock face idea, so related to left arm. I'm going to swing to say like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, and then eleven would be your full swing. Personally, don't mind which way you go with it. It's going to be relative to each person. But what you have to do is once you're, you've set with an idea, get out there and practice those different lengths of swings with different clubs. What you can then do is put them into a little chart of putting your clubs and swing lengths, fill in the chart, find out how far these shots go. So you can do that by, by hitting shots onto the range, walk out onto the range, laser back to, the, to your bag, actually how far have those shots gone. Do that with each length of swing and each, each club that you've done. Once you've got them into your chart, you can have it in your golf bag. It's going to be really helpful for when you're out on the golf course and you need to, to know what to do. So out on the golf course, you then find out you're 50 yards away, go through your chart, right, that's, uh, 
50 yards, that's a, a half swing with, with a 54 degree for me. So I'd know I'd be able to then stand up to the ball, take a couple of practice swings, knowing that I just need to do my half swing. Step up and hit it. And it's landed right by just, just past the 50 yard board there. So pretty much pretty much spot on. Once you've got that with your, your normal tempo, you can then your third adjustment would be to, to do different speeds of swing, different different rhythms, and go over the same process of different lengths of swing with different clubs. Again, write that into a chart have, a, have a, a normal speed or a slower speed or, or even a faster speed. You can, you can go as far or as, as little with, with this as, as you can. So you could be having four different lengths of swing, different clubs, different swing lengths, or you might just choose to go one, one different swing length, like a half swing as a, and as well as your full swing. Do as much as you can. The more options you have, the better, the more variety you'll then have. You'll also have different trajectories. Because you'll have all your different clubs. So, looking at my 58 and my pitching wedge here, they're going to be very different lofts. So they're going to be very different shots, very different distances. As you go through this practice, you'll find that you, you'll see the different trajectories that you hit the ball on as well. Now that's only something you can get through experience and through practice. So get out there with different clubs. You might go down to a seven iron as well to do this. But get out there, do different clubs with, with different lengths of swings. And if you do want to, do different tempos. You're going to get a massive variety of the shots you can hit. Write all this down. Write all of them down into, your, into a chart so you don't have to remember it throughout on the golf course. But it will really, really benefit you, really, really help when you're out on the golf course to be confident in the shot that you need to play. Okay, if you've got any more questions or if you need any more information, please see the details to follow. Thanks very much.